So I have it taped off my 11 by 14 canvas just so that we can have a little frame around there. So all you need today for this painting that we're going to do is your uh, primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, and some green and brown and some white, and you can put some black on there um, too if you want. These have really nice bristles and they're great for your trees and your bushes, and this is going to be used for your background, okay? And then we have a flat synthetic brush, chiseled edge, and I have a flat um, a filbert brush, which is a chiseled edge and synthetic. And I also have a liner brush. So first of all, I am going to decide how far down I want to come with my sky. So I'm not going to put any tape there. I'm just going to put a little bit of blue there just to, let's see, let's see. We need, I think maybe I'll come up to here and leave a lot of foreground for the few th different things that you want to do. Okay, so I'm just putting a little, deciding, you know, you have to decide where you're going to go with your painting and the structure you want to make and the composition and all that good stuff. So with my blue paint, I'm going to add some white. Okay, so I have white. And I want a really light blue sky. And I want a really light blue sky. And because uh, it is in the background, it's probably going to be covered up, but to be able to see through the trees. So let's just go back and forth with this beautiful blue. Nice, hey? Let's do the other corner. Let's do the corners a little darker than the rest. How's that? So lots of white. Good. Lots of white. Because we want to keep that sky nice and bright. I want to keep it. So once I get a bit of blue on there, and my brush is dirty, I'm just going to continue on adding white, okay? And I'm going to leave that center open there so I can add only white there, okay? Just want to really, really brighten up this center over here, which is the rule of thirds. So I'm using this part here for the sun. So as the rule of thirds is your line, and two lines, and two lines, and then you come over to the third. And that's where I'm going to keep my sun. So I have a master class in my, on my Patreon page that teaches you all about color mixing and color theory and explains in detail what it all means and uh, all about the rule of thirds and all kinds of good stuff in there that I can't get on YouTube because it would take up, I want to just put the videos up here, but any explanations I'll put that in my Patreon page for you. Now, see how nice and bright that is here? I might even try to make it brighter after. But I just want a simple little plain sky like that. I'm not going to bother with... I'm not going to bother with... Uh, I just want to get that blue line out of there now. I'm just going to add white to that. I just want to get it out of there and get it out so of the way. So back here I'm just going to put some trees. I'm going to put some uh, sap green on my brush. My brush is a little, still has a bit of white on it, okay? I don't clean my brush very often unless I'm going from light to dark, but because I had a bit of white on it, it didn't, didn't, didn't hurt too much. And just a few trees in the background there. Um, maybe add a little bit of blue. Play with your colors. You can even add a little bit of red if you want. You know, just just play. As long as you're all dark colors, okay? You add white, you're going to get them to brighten up. I'm just going to put these back here. And I'm using my flat brush because I'm just going to put some simple little trees back here. And just tap, tap, tap. Chisel edge of your brush. Or you can go like this. That line that you had there, you can use that for a guide. You can pull up some trees. That probably would be easier for you. There we go. 
There we go. I like that. Tap, tap, tap. Chisel edge your brush. Put your paint on there. Okay. And pull up. And you get different heights. See? Touch. Tap, tap, tap. Some paint on. Make sure there's enough paint on there. You can just touch and pull up, but it won't be enough paint. You can even turn your brush on chisel edge and bring up some different trees in the center too, right? So whatever you think. Let's try for a bit of fun. I like trying different things. Tap, tap, tap. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up, and pull up on the chiseled edge. Get some more trees. That's cute, isn't it? Simple way to do trees, but you're in the background, so you don't need to see a lot of detail, okay? Tap, tap, tap. Now you can even have small trees like that if you want, just, to just tap and get a few shapes. And you can pull up like this, because you, that way you'll get trees in between trees. All right, and then you can pull up on the chisel edge. So you're pulling up this way, right? And then you're flipping around like that. All right. Just to get some tops to your trees, because you already get that filled in on the bottom, which is really nice, isn't it? All right, so let's do a couple more to the edge. Tap, tap, tap. All right, and then we'll go pull up. Don't worry if this is crooked down here. We can always fix it after. Pull up some tops of your trees. And you are go a little bigger ones down here. Yeah. So you can even go back and adjust anything that you need to adjust. I like that. I think I'm going to leave that. Nice. I'm going to see a big little river down there. And I'm going to just take my blue paint on my chiseled edge brush and draw out where I want the river to come from. So I'm thinking maybe it's coming from over here somewhere. So we'll just go like that, bring it around. Probably bring it over and in. Let's just make kind of, you know, different things going on there. And then we'll come back in and we'll spread it right to the corner, okay? Right to the corner, that way it'll help you. So it looks like you got a question mark. <laughs> yeah, make up all kinds of stuff. Question mark. Now we'll come over here and follow that question mark. Nice and tiny up here. And then it's going to come out to the other side. So just follow what you just did. Come in. And then go back out to the other side. Now that wasn't too hard, was it? There we go. Good. So we'll use a bristle brush. Nice stiff brish bristles. And we'll take some green paint. Make some grass. Alright, so I'm going to take some blue and that green that I have there and some yellow. They're not fussy about that green, so I'm going to make another batch of green with more yellow and blue and a bit of white. Alright. More yellow than green, I think. You know, you mix your colors and see what what color you like best. I'm not really sure. I want to get, I'll add my highlights after. So we'll use that as a, as a base color. How's that? As we get down here, it's going to be in shadow. So we'll only come down as far as here with the light stuff. Just make a, a line, okay? It's good to draw things out as you go along to decide where you're going to go with your painting. All right, that way it'll help you keep help you keep control of what you're doing. So we'll tap on that. Tap, tap, tap.
space with your green color and you see how it got texture because it got texture because of the brush see the brush has given you a beautiful texture that's what it does these bristle brushes are amazing for tap tap tapping okay for texture so think of a bristle brush as tapping tapping pushing scrubbing because it'll give you lots of texture and great for trees foliage grass all right keep that in mind all right any size bristle so for the bottom we want it I want it in shadow we want it in shadow you're following me so <laughs> so you are going to put shadow in there so anyway this is good because it will teach you how to add shadow so I'm just going to add uh, burnt umber so to the colors I already mixed my blue and my green and my yellow right add burnt umber and that will darken it up. Where are you? There you are. I oh, almost missed you that time. Because this is a nice dark color. It's not dark enough. We can always add other colors and more color. So we will take that and add that down here. Oh, that's a nice pretty color. That's really nice. Look at that. How dark it is. Isn't that pretty? Nice. side see once you got those lines and see how easy it is to make your decision then so you made your decision when you put your lines in and that way you didn't have to worry about making another decision the only decision you had to make was if you wanted in shadow if you wanted to add more grass down here all right so but once you got the shape now you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about um, going all over the place and making a mess. So that's perfect. See, a few few taps and you got beautiful grass. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to put some blue in here, some water in here, just so we can get that much out of the way too. Because there's so many other things we have to do. We have to highlight here. Once we get this water in and we get the highlights, then we can add a little bridge here. It'll be nice, right? A little bridge. I think it'll be nice there. Our shadows and a few different things all right so with the water I'm going to use a flat chiseled edge because we're not going to be tapping right so anytime you're not tapping then you know you need to use your flat brush chiseled edge so I'm just going to put some blue not going to be too fussy yet just want to get it on there Okay, just get it on there. You got to start somewhere. This is the problem some people have: is they look at the painting and say, "I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do." Just get something on there to get it started. Whether you draw out what you see, just the lines, just to give you an idea of where everything is going. Even even that's a good start. All right. And once you get get a drawing done, or you know, get uh, your composition drawn out. Uh, it's much easier just to fill it in. I'm just filling that in. I'm, I'm picking up white because I don't want it too blue. All right. So we're going to be, you know, adjusting and doing things after. But right now, I just want to, like I said, I want to get something started. Sometimes I don't know where to start either, you know, and I just pick up the brush and just put something on there. Usually if it's a landscape, so I'll put a sky in first. I always start my sky and my, I find it so much easier to get things going. Um, now down here I want it dark, so I'm going to add dark color to that to darken it up. I'm going to I'm going to add a little more light here because I'm trying to think of where the light's coming in. It's a bit lighter there. And like I said, I'll be coming back in to brighten that up after. Um, I want to make the rest of it dark, so I'm just going to wipe my brush off. Alright, just going to wipe my brush off, and I'm going to add my ultramarine blue. Okay, and I'm just going to put that in there. Alright, I'm just going to add that. I'm starting in here pulling out so I can just get that nice little feel of a 
but you don't have to do it. You just fill it in. But if I were you, I'd go back and forth this way instead of going up and down all over the place. You know, have some structure to what you're doing. Just go with the shape of the water, the shape of the land, or shape of a rock, you know, or an apple. If you're doing an apple, you make round strokes. If you go all over the place, it'll be, I don't know, just don't work. You'd have to do a second layer for sure then. Cover up all the weird strokes. So I'm just trying to get this on here now. Comes over here too. I might add a little tiny bit of black to it. Just to really darken it up. Really. Okay. I know people don't like black, but as long as you're adding other colors to black, it's not too bad. It's pretty good. So let's get that on there. Nice and dark over here for sure, isn't it? Leave it open a little bit there and we'll decide how far up we want to go with this. Alright, I'm going to add a little darkness up here on this edge and a little darkness on this edge. Alright. Yeah, so clean your brush really good and pick up some white with a little bit of blue, all right? And we'll go with the center there. And uh, we will go back into here, go back into here, just kind of scrub it on there. And get that in there. We want to mix that in with it, okay? Leave it open. All right, there we go. I need to go get some more white. A little bit more white, not much. For here. Now take this color here, go back in here again, and go back out here, and that will make it all look like it's working together. It, it don't look like a line like you can you can tell it's all separated so let's just do this go right into your paint now don't go up here too much more because your brush can be really dirty so clean your brush all right good and just go back again with clean brush clean that up a little bit here okay before you go into the real dark part all right get this cleaned up in here first all right and we will, now we can go back in here. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm gonna take my little happy brush. This is the makeup brush that I told, told you about. All right, I'm gonna soften that up just by going back and forth like this. I find this brush is good for, you know, softening up without disturbing it too much. It gives a nice soft look. See? Now when it gets dirty, all you have to do is wash it with soap and water. Alright, and when you wash it with soap and water, so I just cleaned it, and this is what it looks like when it's wet, okay? When I cleaned it all off and I wrung it out, that's what it looks like when it's wet. But when you take your towel, your old face cloth or whatever, and you rub it, the white ones are the same. The same you do the same thing with your white, white brush. We'll call it a blending brush if you want. Um, I call it my happy brush because it makes me happy. Look, perfect. Good as new, see? So that's the way you treat that brush. Just thought I'd let you know in case I forgot to tell you. So now I'll be doing more work with this So I'm after. just going to add a few um, more little highlights to this here. Just taking my chiseled edge brush and just adding some streaks of white in this area here. See? Uh, 
I'll brighten that up a little bit more. All you do is use a chisel edge of your brush with a little bit of white on top, and maybe some more dark down here. It depends on what you want to do, okay? Okay, if you want to darken up more or whatever. It looks kind of nice. What do you think? Perfect. 